Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing the types of rocks and also what a rock is. Without any further ado, let's start. What are rocks? Rocks are impure, meaning they are made up of more than one substance. They are made up of many different kind of minerals. Let's learn more about the types of rocks. There are three main types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Here are some examples of rocks, limestone, sandstone, granite, gabbro, marble, and quartzite. Now, over here in the images, as you can see, I have uploaded one image of each type of rock. This rock is a granite rock. It's an igneous rock. This is a marble rock. It's a metamorphic rock. And this rock is limestone. It is a sedimentary rock. Now let's see what these rocks are and how are they formed. Starting off with igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are formed when magma or lava cools down. Igneous rocks are further divided into two more types, intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks are formed underground, meaning they are formed with the magma, the molten rocks, beneath the volcano. They form slowly as the temperature is really high, and they have large crystals in them because they form slowly. One example of an intrusive igneous rock is granite. Extrusive igneous rocks are formed on the Earth's surface. They form quickly as the temperature on the Earth's surface is not very hot and is rather cool. They have very small crystals in them as they don't have much time to properly form large crystals. An example of an extrusive igneous rock is obsidian. Let's move on to sedimentary rocks. These rocks are formed with the help of organic substances as well as other rocks. In order to form sedimentary rocks, they undergo the process of weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and lithification. Sediments that are small fragments of rock and soil making layers undergo compaction and cementation to form proper sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are formed on the sea beds. Many layers of different sediments are put together and when pressed, they create many types of sedimentary rocks. Even though sedimentary rocks are formed on the seabed, they don't necessarily have to be found there. They can be found in areas nearby all around the world. Let's move on to metamorphic rocks. Now there are three ways that metamorphic rocks can be formed. The first and the most main way is when igneous and sedimentary rocks are put under heat and pressure, they create metamorphic rocks. And when lava or magma that erupts from the volcano cools nearby, it can also be a cause to form metamorphic rocks. When earthquakes cause the different types of rocks to fold and smush together, metamorphic rocks can be created. Some examples of metamorphic rocks are marble and quartzite as shown earlier. Fun fact, the crystals in metamorphic rocks are arranged in band-like layers. So, if you ever overcome a metamorphic rock, you will be able to clearly see 
that the crystals in this rock are formed in band-like layers. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have any future video suggestions or any video that you would like me to make for you, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you all so much for watching.